Hi, good morning and welcome to my channel. My name's Natalie and this is So Stitch So Nat, but So Stitch So on Instagram. Um, hope you're all feeling well today. Um, it is the 5th of January and I thought I'd do a finish parade for you today. Um, I can't remember how many finishes there were. There were eight that I'd finished previously that hadn't FFO'd. Um, so I was going to include those. I've got and then another 35 on top. Um, so yeah, quite a few. <laughs> Funnily enough, most of them are starts that I did last year um, and finished. Um, some of them are older ones, but I'll let you know the start date as I go along. Um, the ones that were finished in a previous year and then FFO last year as part of the FFO challenge um, that um, Penny's Daughter Shares um, was doing along with Jen, Jen the Quilter or Jen from Two Tall Stitches um, so yeah I've kind of failed on that slide I don't know how many FFOs I actually got um, I don't think I made a note of that but it was on my I think it was 18 I think I put it on my Instagram wasn't complete but I'm happy with 18 finishes and um, I've got stuff to FFO some more um let's just have it over here sorry there's a great big pile just off to the camera um so this is one of the like I said previously I think it's finished in 2022 which is Mill Hill it slipped down in the frame um it normally sits on my shelves upstairs um and it's Cafe Mocha um and this is just in a Mill Hill frame stitched all the kit supplies um, and I bought the frame from 123 stitch um, it doesn't have a backing on it um, so I had to sort of like mount it put some cardboard there and then I have to use some tape that's a little stand thing that you can use but I've just got it lent against something so that is that one I can't remember the name of the frame apologies um, and then this is a caterpillar cross stitch it was the stitching social I think it's a 2022 finish as well um, and I just stitched this very quickly um, a lot of block stitches I think this is available as a kit from them now and um, it's just in a hoop finish um, and then I used a piece of mount board um, and just covered it in fabric obviously didn't manage to get that crease out but it's, it's hanging on the wall <laughs> um, and there's just a bit of gingham ribbon um, then I've got another Mill Hill which I think was also a 2022 finish um, I've not got this hanging up yet so that'll be a job after this which is I Love Love or Love Stitching sorry the series of these um, I've got the coffee one to do and the love one to do but you can also get Halloween gardening and like music notes um, so that stitches all the kit supplies and then the beads um, and then just some sticky um, velvet put on the back um, I think I stuck this on and then cut it. Um, but it's not maybe quite as tight, but at least the stitches aren't going to come out, which was my main worry with it. So that needs to get displayed. Um, and then I also finished FFO's another Mill Hill kit, um, which I think I did March 22 for, at least I started it then, uh, for. Seal City Stitches March Madness and this is Winter Holiday um, Christmas Eve I haven't got any of the others on the back um, and that is that one um, I think the beads are my own rather than from the kit yeah I went with different beads um, and then some green so I've got green or red basically to do the backing bits 
and then obviously, obviously a bit of an ornament frenzy um, and I've had this sat around as a finish for ages but yeah I used to do the technique on this which was to cut it out and then stick it on um, and I've just left a bit of thread on that one Oops. but that is I've got enough to stitch another one Jane Ashcroft's Greencroft's Jane Greencroft's Christmas crafts and it's just tart and Christmas present. I don't know if that's still available. I've had it for years. Um, I don't think there's a year on it. That is that one. I've even left a bit of felt in there for the next one. I don't know the threads aren't in there. So I'd have to kick that back up. Um, I'm not sure that I will. I think I'll probably just put the bits into stash actually. Um, then there's the three uh, ones that are, are personalised. Um, first one is the wedding sampler. Oh, no, that's the bottom one. I've actually shown this previously. Um, so yeah, it's just a Forever Friends piece. This was already FFO'd, um, fully finished, and um, object. <laughs> but I decided to, oh, glare. Um, I decided to refinish it in three matching frames. Um, these actually need to go back. These need to go on the wall. Um, but yeah, so that's our wedding one. And then. And then this is my eldest. That's a Winnie the Pooh one. He had a Winnie the Pooh themed bedroom. Can't work out that's damage there. Um, the frames are just from Amazon. Like I said, I bought three, so they all match. Um, and that was a kit. All, all three of these were kits. Um, by I think they were by Anchor. I'm not sure if they're still available. Um, so that was kit done in all the kit supplies. Um, and they give you an alphabet and a bit of graph paper to personalise it. Um, Under the um, and then that's my youngest ones, um, and that's a for, forever bear as well. Yeah, so that's the mystery, <laughs> and that's the end of my prayer year FFOs. Oh, part of the FFO challenge, I was sat in the finished box waiting to get sorted. <laughs> um, so, next one is uh, Golden Win Anniversary. Now, I don't have a photo of this. Um, the finished object with me, sorry, because um, it was a gift for my in laws. Uh, so, I'll pop a photo in here. This was framed professionally. Uh, I started on the 26th of August 2022 and it was finished on the 7th of January 2023. I literally just left a little bit left um, and then stitched it when it got to 2023 because I wanted to finish it in the year um, of their anniversary. Um, so next is oh, Reaper by Wild Violet. Yeah. Um, this is still available. It was just stitched on a 14 count Naviator from Stash. Um, the white and black are called for. The grey, I think I used a slightly different grey because it just looked too white. There wasn't enough contrast. Um, and this was started on the 3rd of March 2022 and finished on the 30th of January 2023. So yeah, it shouldn't have taken me that long really. It was just a 
the dark on dark. The next one is the MFE Pride Cell from 2022. So I started this on the 22nd of June 2022 and finishes on the 6th of Feb 23. All call for colours on a I think that's a 14 count uh, Yorkshire Ada by Swigart and there's two and I can't remember which one it is. It's the not so it's got grey in it. But it's not the grey or one of the two. Um, next was Cross Stitch Nation uh, by Heartstring Sampery. This was started on the 19th of September 2021 and finished on the 19th of February 2023. And I was stitching this on my birthday as well. My birthday is in February. Just wanted to get it out. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's that one. And I did do um, I did do some skin conversion on there, um, just a little bit. Uh, next is Craft Supplies by Puntini Puntini. I love this, and I wanted to stitch it straight away. So this was started on the 5th of March 2023 and finished on the 18th of March 2023. So yeah, what's that? 13 days? I could not stop. Absolutely love that. And that's on a 32 count country vintage mocker. It was left over from um, my chatelaine. So I've got a massive piece of country vintage mocker. I think it's like a metre by a metre. But I didn't need all of it. Um, but I needed more than 50 centimetres. I think I needed like 70, so I had to go up to the next size. Um, next one is the What Remains Is Love, and that was part of a mother's love cell. I still haven't um, framed this, but I absolutely love it. It's Blackbird Designs. Um, and I got this when it came out from Traditional Stitches. So it's got all the... Uh, Call for silk, um, call for weeks fabric, which was a bit too soft. I'm not not keen. Um, and it was stitched one over two. I don't think it's a 32 count. I think it might be a 36 or 35. I think there's a weird number. Um, and this was stitched in memory of my mum. So it's got some personalisation, oops, this side. Um, some of that was one over one. I really do need to get that framed. Um, it was it was a lot last year. Um, it, I've not really spoken about this, um, but it was 30 year anniversary. And it just brought a lot of emotions back to the surface. Um, and stitching on that really helped, but I just haven't bought myself round to um, getting it framed. Um, I'm not sure the husband's that keen on the actual colours of it. He's not sure where it's going to go. Um, but I wanted to go somewhere, so we'll have to come up with some sort of compromise, won't we? I'm literally sat in his home office that he uses for the home office and for all his D&D stuff online. So I haven't actually got a room to myself. <laughs> And no, I don't call the kitchen my room. <laughs> um, oops. So I finished that on... Did I finish that on Mother's Day? Yes, I finished that on Mother's Day and then picked up part of a chart from um, Modern Folk Embroidery uh, and a hand-dyed thread I had in stash and did I Love Mum. I'm going to turn this into a little pillow. Um, I was making a memory box. Still, I'm making a memory box technically, but I just haven't touched it in quite some time. Um, and this is on a fabric flare uh, from the Lakeside Needlecraft when I was in the Fabric of the Month Club. Sorry, everyone's at home. <laughs> um, um, where am I? Yes, this is called Nine Lives. It was from... 
Oh, what's the American one called? All the Christmas ornaments. Not just stitch. Not cross stitcher. You're probably all screaming at me. Um, it was available on Readly. It was Halloween ornaments, and I can't remember the 20 which year it was. And I haven't written it down. It's clever, isn't it? Um, it's on a 14 count Ada with Call for DMC. Um, and this was started on the 4th of March and finished on the 24th of March um, as part of the March Madness. I think this is the one that went through to the end of March Madness. Oh no, it was craft supplies, yeah, and I finished that really quickly. It's this one. Yeah. I'm sure there's a video after March last year that's got it all in. Um, and then this is, this was a freebie from Silver Creek Samplers um, called Can Do Attitude. And that was started on the 8th of March and finished on the 31st of March. Originally I'd filled in the 2023 with another thread. Didn't like it, pulled it out because it's too similar to the other threads um, and decided the fabric is so nice I wanted to leave it alone. Although my can-do attitude didn't can-do the finish. So um, it's probably going to stay like that to be honest. Um, and then um, that's the right way up isn't it? Um, and a bit of thread. Um, that was on a 32 count from Lakeside Need a Craft Fabric of the Month. I can't remember what the name was, sorry. Um, and I can't remember what threads. I think I might have an Instagram post. If not, it'll be in the, yeah, an April video. The first April video after the end of March. Um, this one's called Semicolon Project. Um, and it's by Son of a Stitch. It was a charity. Um, pattern um, from a previous year um, and it represents suicide prevention um, which um, there was a news story at the time and it brought back a lot of memories I'm not sure um, the exact what finally came of that um, but yeah so this is in partial memory of my mum as well um, and I just stitched this in the, I think it was called for colours actually, um, so 50, it's all black work, 553 and then um, 310, just around the colon mark. Um, then I joined the Get Your Kit On sale. April, uh, which Sherry Sarah was uh, still technically still running, so um, and, and I stitched this by um, So Sophie Crafts, who's actually just bought a book out, um, which I've not got yet. Um, definitely plan to though. Uh, and I just finished this into a little hoop fabric on the back. All the kit supplies. Because um, you could only buy this as a kit, it wasn't available as a PDF, and I, I really wanted to stitch it. Um, yep, that's that one. Then I saw a challenge on Instagram. I thought, oh, yeah, I can do that. Yeah, yeah, I can do that. I can do that. It was the Rainbow Block Challenge 30 days, so I had to complete this within 30 days to get a prize. And the prize was another cross stitch chart. In a similar colourway, I can't remember what exactly it looks like. No, it's say down. Um, but yeah, so you got it all straight away, and then you had to just use all the cord for 14 count. Um, but yeah, love that. Love all the colour. Uh, and I can't remember who did it. I'll put it on the screen. I probably put, would have done the, all of that anyway. Um, so yeah, that's that one. 
Um, then I finished a magazine freebie to make, I've got to make into a bookmark. I swapped out the fabric that was in there. Um, it just wasn't very tactile or nice, so I just put some, I presume, Swigart, I don't know what I mean. Yeah, 14 count Ada. Um, but the threads are all the kit from the magazine. It's just a little owl bookmark, which I need to make into a bookmark. You'll notice a bookmark frenzy coming soon. Um, which I haven't got a photo. Oh, I've got photos, but I haven't got the actual thing. Um, and then I'll say one of my big finishes for last year. So pleased. And I keep seeing um, Ellie Willie Stitcher um, progress on this, and it just makes me want to. Yeah, that's what inspired me to get it finished. Um, so this is Lindy Stitches um, Mary Mary Needleworker. I have got Susie Susie Sampler Maker. I haven't started it. It's on a 32 count platinum even weave. Stitch for stitch with the cold four colours. Um, had a bit of an issue with the satin. Uh, on that in terms of the skein that I got to match but look like when I ordered from Lakeside they'd given me like two different well actually they gave me three skeins instead of two and two were very similar and the third was closer to the actual one that I had so I didn't have to rip it out um, so that's that one yeah that weak sea foam it's a lot it's I want to say it's at least five skeins of sea foam in there and um, there are DMC in there as well um, so I think it's things like the words I think the tomato and the frog and things like that the, the finer details around the outside are, are DMC um, I need to come up with a plan for this as well. And rehome some of them so they've not got fold marks in. Um, so at the minute I just found a finishing box but I've got like a finishing roll and a project book so I can lay some more of them flatter. Sort of video, I can't get through it coughing. Um, next is Picnic Party. Oh, sorry, that was a tw the Mary Mary was a 2021 start, January 2021, 1st of Jan 2021, finished on the 22nd of June 2023. This one's Picnic Party, started on the 19th of June 2022 and finished on the 14th of January 2023. All call for DMC. Uh, I think it's called Vintage. It's very slight mottled linen by Zweigart. Um, is it vintage blue or something like that? Um, and that was when we did the picnic in the park in 2022. Um, next one's a Love Quilts one. Like I mentioned previously, they've changed the dimension, so I need to do something with this. But it's on a 16 count white Ada, um, and that's all 310. Um, and that was started 19th of September 22 and finished on the 27th of January 23. If you want details about Lovecraft, they'll be Love Quilts, they'll be below. Um, and then one to the bookmarks. So I haven't um, got those with me. They were gifted um, as school gifts for the end of term. Um, so here is Fishy Fishy. <laughs> and that took two sessions. Next is Coffee and Books, which also took two sessions. And then I did um, a birth sampler uh, for a work colleague 
Um, that's, I've just called it Love Burst Sampler. It's from Happiness on Etsy. We've got different colourways, lots of different samplers. Really good place if you're looking for something like that. Um, they're not all pink and blue. There's some yellow and there's some rainbow ones and all sorts. Um, and that was starting on the 31st of March and finished on the 2nd of July after baby arrived. Um, next one is Tulip's bookmark. Um, that took a little bit longer because I was trying to finish off the other thing. Um, editing skills are going to come in again today. Um, so then I did this one. I don't know why I'm so close on that side, but it fits. Um, and I definitely got the reds mixed up somewhere. I can't tell. Um, and this is a Mill Hill kit. Um, I haven't got any more details. I've lost my place. Um, I think it's just called Jingle Bell Real Wreath and it comes with all the bells. I'm not sure you can hear that. They're not, they rattle a little bit. Um, that was finished, started on the 1st of March and finished on the 6th of July. And then the one, the one I went crazy for last year as birthday start is Fab Riley and that's called Owl Hoop. And it's got beads, it's got metallic, it's got glow in the dark thread, um, and this is DMC on a 32 count petty point. Uh, it was meant to have sequins. Um, oh, you can see the sequins. They're not. They're not the right size. They're there. Try and get the light to. Yeah, you can see them a little bit. Absolutely love that. Flew through that. Um, although I think I got to like, I started on my birthday, got to about 25-50%, put it down for a bit and then they just kept calling to me so I ended up getting finished. Um, so that was started, like I say, on my birthday and finished on the 16th of July 2023. Got the hoop to get it finished into. I just haven't finished it. FFO'd it even. Right. And then I've done uh, Lindy stitches. This is part of a bigger um, pattern uh, that she collaborated with the blue flower on called Saltwater Stitch Scrapbook. Uh, and this is a Lindy stitches part which is part two, um, which had the seagulls on. And if you know the film Finding Nemo, you know. <laughs> and that is what it's like in our house, but not so much lately, but at one point it was mine, mine. Yeah, so I had to do mine. And the idea was to finish that into a little pillow to put on the Christmas tree. Yeah, it's January the 5th. It's got to get done by next Christmas, hasn't it? Or this Christmas, should I say? We'll see. Got a fair few things to finish. Um, next was the Little Doves Designs Mystery Sewing Room Sal, which I kept up to date with. Sorry, I'm waiting for the same. Uh, a dot com delivery. <laughs> As so he says, um, yeah, all call for DMC on a taupe 32 count, even with by Swigar. And have I cut this to size? No, so even more reason to get it out and finish it. I don't know how I want to finish it either, that's the problem. Absolutely love that stitch, lots of block stitching quite easy yeah I almost forgot to do the French knots but you could substitute some beads the pin heads are a bit fiddly that'll be the delivery so 
so I'll pause there. Back. Shopping's not all away, but the fridge and frozen stuff is. Um, so let's carry on. Um, so this is Joan Elliott. Uh, stocking Santa and Polar Bear. I did start FFOing this. Um, so you've seen that on my Instagram. It's got lots of beads, metallic thread, um, stitched in the coal for, or kit supplies. Uh, 14 count white Ada. Uh, yeah, I think when you've seen this last, I'd done this in silver. And not gold I did change it in the end or oh, I haven't I can't remember um, um, I've got the velvet on the back um, but I haven't lined it yet um, I was having a bit of fun and games trying to get the lining the right way up or well, it stitched the right way to get it inside should have watched that one of five for tutorial that I'd already watched I don't know how many times before I was gonna FFO it anyway got it now need to get some machine back out um, and that'll be the same for my mine needs um, the inside put in it um, but I finished that in 2022 uh, and it's not it's, a, it's an FFO in progress it's not finished um, next was my first quirky Quaker which is penguin which I think I got from I think I got it from 123 stitch I can't remember it's a hard copy one anyway loved it couldn't put it down and I did this on a Murano mint splash it's the mint with the white splashes, uh, 32 count. Yes, I do see some more Quakers in my future. Yes, it's dangerous to look at it, see, darling and whimsy. I think Michelle, um, Michelle Bendy's a bit of a bad influence that way because she's making you want to stitch some more. Um, but that is the only one I own currently. Uh, and then I, uh, so Quirky Quaker, it says nine days, but I, don't, I didn't stitch on it every day. Um, and I'm not sure I'm going to finish that into like a, a round cushion or hoop. Um, and then I did Halloween, finished off Halloween night by Mill Hill. Started the 4th of March 2022, finished the 14th of October 2023. It shouldn't have taken me that long really. It's a bit damaged as well. Um, I'm not going to get a Mill Hill frame, but I think I want to get a 6x6 frame. Maybe from Amazon, see how we get on. But yeah, that one's done. And then I finally got the bit between my teeth and finished this big project as well, which was a sal originally. Random bit of thread. Um, and this is the crystallised sal by Lakeside Needlecraft um, and the designer. Oxana Puff Puff Deer. I'll put it on screen. And it's all crystals, all backstitched, all coal for DMC on a stone cloud 28 count fabric flare, which is don't think was coal for fabric, I just chose it. Um absolutely love that. So yeah, that's the finish. It's so big I can't even actually. My youngest declared as soon as I finished it that he wanted it, but obviously I haven't framed it or anything yet. Um, feeling kind of bad that most of my finishes seem to be going to him at the minute. That changed. Uh, oops. Then, oh yeah, I've not got this one here. Uh, this was gifted at Christmas. Um, this is my FFO of hooked on crocheting um, and I can't remember the design my no 
I'll put it on screen. Um, and this was a gift for Christmas from my mother-in-law. Um, and I just used some lace trim to go around the edges. Um, and it came with all the charms included with the chart. Um, and I got it off eBay. So I'm not sure how old. It's relatively old. Um, in cross-stitching terms, that is. Um, uh, then I also finished Faulty Towers for my dad. Um, and this is by eight bit eight x stitch on Etsy. I'll put it on screen if it's wrong. Um, it's my second chart from them. I did the Only Fools and Horses one, which I think I spoke about in my video before Christmas. Um, so yeah, that's all FFO'd and given away. Um, then I saw a penguin sale and thought, I can knock that out before Christmas. It was a bit of a hard slog towards Christmas because I wanted to get down to 24. I did actually manage it. Um, but this is the little penguin sale and this is by Grishetta Gogo. Uh, well, it's in her shop. It's not designed by her. I, I can't remember the artist's name. I will put it on the screen. Um, but it's very much in her style. Stitch on a 32 count country vintage schmucker with a call for DMC. Um, I don't think I've personalised it. Um, I know I was going to because I realised I was a stitch off over here somewhere and then something else wasn't meeting up so I frogged it. I think everything else is where it should be. <laughs> But I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. I'm quite decided. Too big for the tree. But it'd be nice to have out at Christmas. Could I put it in my room at Christmas, couldn't I? That's an idea. Um, yep. Then the next one was a fish for my son. Um, if you've seen Instagram, you'll know I was tracing this one as well um, which is embroidery kids for art or is it? I'll put the tights on the screen oops glare yeah you'll see it pop pops up on some boxes in front of me um, this is on a 14 count black ada 2 at the 1 um, 3 colours of DMC more than one skein of that particular colour, I can't remember what it is. And that is one of four. So I've got three more frames. It really pops. I think the blue's coming up a bit paler on the screen. But it really pops in real life and it's going to go in his bedroom. Um, and Charmander is the next one. Um, next lines of the song um so yeah so georgie from crafty road gamer you could have this too <laughs> and pat's no longer available unfortunately um but we've both got the the same one um don't watch her channel do um same with um so me Sarah, I've done quite a few things with her as well. Um, I think who else? I, there's quite a few I watch quite regularly. You'll see them influence me quite a bit. Um, and then this isn't my last finish, but it's my second to last finish. <coughs> so this isn't my last finish. It's my second to last finish, and it's on a 32 count. Belfast snow even weave even weave yeah definitely even weave um stitched with a oh the name's gone I'll put it on screen um 
didn't know, Fred didn't have a name um, but it's from her shop uh, originally when she was on Etsy I think I said in my previous video I think she's back on there now um, sorry it's backwards in the screen I got really confused every minute um, so yeah uh, I did put in some extra DMC which is this purple here I literally have one strand left of the multicolored one um, and I put my initials in and I became that in 2029 so I put 2029 uh, 2029 oh dear um, 2009 <laughs> um, it originally charted with 2010 on it um, the alphabet reminds me of a blackbird designs alphabet um, but I just marked up mocked up my own and did that um, but yeah thinking project bag for this one um, who got me to do it is the question I think it might have been Danielle at Cardiff Stitches But yeah, it's, it's a freebie, it's on a blog, I'll link it below. Um, and you can stitch it one colour, multiple colours, however you want to stitch it. Um, and I've just realised I'm missing my very last piece. It's only a small. Right, just a second. Right, so my last little finish of 2023 was... Heritage Sewing Pincushion. This is the start and finish um, in December. I haven't got dates with me. I literally finished quite pleased and then did this. Um, sorry to run up and down the stairs. Um, stitched on all the kit called for. What well, kit? I think it's an 18 count, possibly a 20. So, yeah. Um, all the finishing supplies um, which I seem to have put into this bag which is the one I made um, so it'll join it's a little friends and then the last one I've got so I've got the needle case which I've done and I've got the sewing keep that's done so all I've got left to do is the bookmark and then that series is done so it's going to FFO them all at the same time even though they're all different um, in terms of what they require finishing wise um, I'm going to call it a day there folks I did think about maybe doing a floss tube straight after this um, but um, time's marching on and the kids need to get out of the house. Uh, so, yeah, needs must. Um, so maybe next week I'll get a normal frost tube done. I'm not sure when this is going to get edited and go up. Um, just bear with me on that one. Um, right, great, thank you. And I will see you next time. Um, I hope you had a great new year. Sorry I didn't say that at the start. Um, if you like what you see, like and subscribe. Um, do all the stitchy things. Uh, and uh, getting even closer on Instagram to the 500. Um, I also, just before I forget again, um, I did a giveaway at the end of my last video. That giveaway is still running. I'll probably leave it open until my first February video. Um, so I won't do it in my next update video which will be January 1. Um, bye for now. Thank you.